Good morning, Dykes fam. Today's day three of our RV trip, Vlog USA. Last night we spent the night in the church's parking lot. We're in Buffalo. Oh, Buffalo, Buffalo Wyoming. Buffalo, Wyoming. Well, I know you guys always wanted to visit here. Yeah. And I look so beautiful because you guys, RV life is not what you think it is. Our shower is not working right. You turn the shower on for the first 10, 15 seconds, it's scalding hot water and then it's freezing cold water the rest of the time. And then you have to like turn it off, wait a minute, turn it back on, scalding hot water for 10, 15 seconds and repeat. So it's not a fun, it's not a fun So this is what I look like on day three without washing, <laughs> yeah. without a good shower. <laughs> We're gonna get on the road here in just a minute, but uh, thank you, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints for letting us use your parking lot to sleep in. So I will lay aside every sin Which so easily beset me I will trust my fear into his care To finally be free The best part about yeah. living in an RV is that you get to do this. Right, Josh? Show him your rubber gloves. <laughs> If you use the toilet or the shower, it's eventually going to have to come out somewhere. I'm not only the driver, but I have to clean up everybody's crap. Literally. <laughs> hey, so. some of it says, okay? Yeah. So sure. we're going to try to figure this out. It should be really interesting. Please don't come pouring out. And really smelly. What if I just open this up and it's <laughs> No, because you have to turn the handle to make it come out silly. I know that. Well, th theoretically speaking. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen that movie RV when they try to do dump? It's hilarious. If you guys haven't seen it, you should definitely watch it because it explains our trip. Okay, Josh got it all figured out. Round two, we had to flip the motor home around to the other side. The, the hose... poop hose was not long enough to reach. Dude, I'm going to feel poop coming through here and all of it. Good thing, y'all. It's all, all okay. So we which one's which? That one's black because it's black. One's black, one's gray. Black is the poop. Okay, here we go. Ready? Are you going to pull it? Yeah. Okay. Here oh, here it oh, comes. Oh, I can feel them going in. Ah! <laughs> can you dump, not to can it you dump at the same time? You guys are so jealous right can now. You dump oh, yeah, but you can time? turn it on, both of them on at the same what, time. Why do you have to do one at a time? Oh, oh, it smells. Oh, it smells so bad. I think it's done with the. Oh. oh no. Well, I think it's a good idea to drain the black first and then let the gray flush out the. That's totally, yes. The that's type, fine. the tube. I knew that. That's You're cool. so smart, Josh. Yeah. You should do this as a profession. I think Josh has found his new career. Well, babe, was it successful? Yeah, it's the only successful one. This is put back in the, the proper place and. After I pulled this out, first of all, I well, babe, let it run. <laughs> I just really don't want that to touch. Okay, we're successful RV dumping for the first time. Okay. Oh! Splash! Well, folks, that's what Wyoming looks like. Whoa, Josh, is it windy? Oh, no. <laughs> it's actually super windy yesterday and today, and then it's not fun driving an RV because it just blows us right over. So. Both hands on the wheel. I got my seats, I'm good. <laughs> Josh uses these the whole time so he can stay awake. Money in the bank. Money in the bank. Josh didn't kick me away. Thank you, sunflower seeds. I love you. So if you have a hard time driving, staying awake, you should try eating sunflower seeds. Got my new co pilot. So just dance, dance, dance. So just dance.
So let me show you what it's going to look like when it's done. I always find it so amazing how they used to make their clothing. Like, how do you even do that? And then okay. look, they let them draw on the side of their teepees. The kids would love that. When we're done with the RV, this is what we're gonna live in. We're gonna try out teepees. <laughs> yeah. Didn't you know that my mother-in-law and my wife are Indians? You guys are Indians. Okay, for today. From across the... From, from the, the eastern hemisphere. <laughs> that's clo That's their clothes. That's like what you would have wore, but a smaller size. It might be a little big for you, but you can grow into it. So a life-size version of the crazy horse statue. Well, not really, but... It's 134th of We just got out of the, a movie where they were telling us about it. And they were saying it's the largest land sculpture, rock sculpture, right? That's ever being constru ever been constructed. They said Mount Rushmore could fit just in the his face. Head. Look at that. What folks, would you just look at that? Christina, you're my shot. You're ruining it. No. We've officially made it to Mount Rushmore. 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 The Mount of Rushmore. The Mount of Christina the stayed Mount behind Rushmore. with William because he fell asleep the like Mount one minute before Rushmore. we got here, so no, he Mount. needs to sleep. The but Rushmore. check this out. This is pretty cool yeah, looking. Yeah, yeah. We came at probably the wrong time because now the shadow, the sun's on the back side. Come before like three, two or three, three o'clock so that the sun's on this side. Okay guys, where are we at right now? Mount Rushmore. What do you think about that? Is that pretty remarkable? Yeah. Yeah? Do you know who those four presidents are? Um, Washington? Yeah, but I know one is George Washington. <laughs> It's that, wait, Ab um, Abraham Lincoln? Uh huh. Um, John Williams? John Williams. John Williams. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Looks like we need to do a little history lesson. 
So we figured out the names of each one of the people up there. And who are they? George Washington. Thomas. Thomas Jefferson. Theodore Roosevelt and Abraham Lincoln. That's correct. You made it. <laughs> I can name all of them. George Washington, Thomas Jeffrey, um, and Theodore Roosevelt, and then Abraham Lincoln. Nice job. Thomas Jeffrey? Thomas Jefferson. Oh. Christina, you made it. I made it. That was a long walk. It is a long walk. This is a beautiful monument. Okay, hold on. I'm going to capture your reaction to you seeing them for the very first time in real life. <gasps> this one's in my eyes. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. Would you folks would you just look at that? What is it? It's a really cool thing. Can you imagine even doing that? Those are huge. Okay, here we go. Live reaction. It's beautiful. Okay, but what what do you think about it though, Pharrell? I Your first thoughts really of this. Cool. I can't even imagine making a sculpture that was like a foot big, let alone making something that's hundreds of feet big. Oh. The monument here flags and this is a beautiful like museum and monument. I think this monument costs more than the actual Mount Rushmore sculpture because it's all made from like wood When I saw pictures though I didn't really realize there was this many trees around and that was more desolate and looking. And these are they're not really like mountains they're just these really cool like castle rocks. It's really cool. Like yeah. I'm sure they're mountains to most people but not for like the Rockies. When you're from Utah our <laughs> they're mountains really are cool. miles high. So like just giving you a pan so it's all tree foresty area and then you got that and you got all the blast rock up there. You yeah. got Tate and Wild Animal <laughs> up here. And like, I mean, for some reason I, I thought it was going to be more desolate around. Like I didn't realize there was this much green. The Black Hills are beautiful. It's a beautiful area. And then look at this amphitheater they have down there. Tate and Mount Rushmore. Peace out. Co-pilot Buddy just woke up from a man, slept through Mount Rushmore, and now he's helping me navigate Minnesota. You say Minnesota? Say here we come. He's seriously the cutest co-pilot ever. Well, Dykes fam, day three of our RV trip, Blog USA, is in the books. We are actually checking out in a hotel tonight. Hi, Nikoi. Hi. We're having some issues with our shower on the RV as far as keeping the water nice and hot. Um, and so we decided we're going to check into a hotel tonight and get some good sleep. And everybody else is going to shower. I already showered. I've showered every day, but hard for especially the girls to clean their hair and stuff in 30 seconds so anyways say thanks and thanks for watching thanks and thanks for watching say thanks for watching thanks for watching say we'll see you tomorrow see you tomorrow peace out <laughs> he's been where i am before he will make all my weaknesses stronger and with his stripes i'll be healed from these bells hoping by his side i'll stand i will run to the one who has created